Hey guys, Mr. Bookie Boo here, and I'm back with another LEGO City video. Today, we're gonna take a deep dive and take a closer look at the newest area of New Bricksburg, which is the beach. So, I got a few things I'm gonna show you in depth, and so let's not waste any time, and let's get right to it. Okay, so, I've been spending a lot of time working on this area of the city. Now, if you remember, this used to be the amusement park, which was short-lived because of the space issues, because my table ends, like, right here. Um, and the city starts right there. So there's no way I'm going to get all the cool amusement park rides into this area. And it's just, it was just too much. I was trying to do too many things with this little space. So then I started thinking, well, what could I do here? You know, one thing was I could have extended the city all the way, but then it's just more city. And I have a lot of city and I still have space for modulars and whatnot throughout the main part of the city. And so then I thought some more and I said, well, one thing I always really wanted was a beach. And if you remember some from previous versions of my city, you know, I tried to do a beach. I tried to do it kind of in the bend of the U shape of the layout before. Um, I tried it in a few different areas and things, and it just never quite worked out. It was just wasn't right. It didn't, wasn't what I wanted. So I said, hey, what about, you know, what about this area? And so what you see is kind of the result of that. But what I want to do with this video is kind of talk about a lot of the, the methodology and designing and developing this to give you guys hopefully some ideas and when you develop for your like space and stuff and how you you know can go about and build and add to your own layouts and stuff so um this area is pretty small it's really um it's about four base plates wide when you look at it to the edge of the mountainside over there and it's three base plates deep like most of my city is um the important elements that i really wanted to make sure i had was of course the fishing store which is kind of the focal point a marina water obviously and then the rest could be sand and beach now the trick was to figure out how um i could incorporate all of that into this you know somewhat limited space that i have and so what i quickly decided was that i wanted um to have the fishing shop actually this this gave me a lot of grief at first figuring this out because the fishing shop it, it, it with its base before you before i added the the extended pier um you know it sits on like a tan base plate and so that was a real challenge for me to figure out was how to incorporate that with the water because i really wanted it next to the water but if you put it too close to the water the water is um you know, it would look funny because my water's raised up. So this sits on a blue base plate with these tiles. So it's actually higher than the fishing store would be on just the tan base plate that it comes with. And then, so the other thought was like, well, I could put it on a blue base plate. That was my first thought. And then I could make it all, you know, it would look fine because with a tan base plate, if I had water running right up to it, then all of a sudden I'm, I'm too, like I'm a, a base plate, a plate and a tile high to cover the tan underneath the fishing shop. You know what I mean? So I was quickly like running. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do here? And I didn't want to necessarily rebuild the whole thing. And then I didn't want to go too high with, with, the, um, with plates underneath the tiles because then you're just wasting a lot of resources. Although I will admit the, the, the plates underneath the tile technique does look really well because you can vary it and you can make the water look like different, different depths and different shades and colors. So there is some advantages to doing that. In my case, I didn't want to get too crazy with this because this was really the first time I'd done a large, huge water scene that I wanted. Um, you know, I'd done like little canals and stuff in Ninjago Land before, but this was the first time I'd really done something like this with, with you know, like a beach and ocean kind of thing. And so I didn't want to get too crazy with what I was doing. So what I ended up doing was I actually followed, uh, I did the Mills standard with the plates. And I did that for two reasons. The first reason was it solved my problem with the fishing store because with a mills plate, so the mills are these, here, I'll show you over here. Let me move this and I can show you. So basically, um, this is the mill standard. So it's, a, it's, a, a, it's a, a base plate and then you have a brick and then you have a plate on top. So it's raised up, it's up, you know, four units of plate basically is the height for your, um, for the foundation now. Now the advantage to that is a, you're able to take that plate that the um, fishing store sits on, and it actually what I what I have is actually rests right on top of these bricks, and it's actually perfectly level with the mills plates that surround it. So I was able to raise that up, make it look good, and solve my problem right off the bat. Now the second thing is you're able to 
do some really cool texturing. So if I zoom in on the beach over here, you'll see how it's sloped down to the water. Now, taking into account that this is this is already raised up, that the, the water is not you know just at base plate level, it's already up one tile. So the other the really cool thing is you're able to do some really neat texturing and stuff, which you can see at the beachfront here. So I have the water which ends at some rounds, which makes it um, you know kind of like a little rippling water effect. And then I have like the dark tan, which is like the wet sand, and then I have um, the light tan. But then the light tan goes up, 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 back to the full height of the actual um, mills plates behind, which like the fishing store sits on and everything else sits on in this whole area. So that gives you a lot of really cool flexibility and the ability to do some really neat stuff. So that was, that was, um, that was why I went that route, really. And you can see the end result. I, I love it. I love how you're able to make, you know, the different levels and layers versus just the flat surface. I would love to do something like this in the whole city, but I'll point out, so these mills plates are really expensive. Um, you use, you need, because you need to cover it basically. So you need the bricks underneath, which you can find and use any color, but you also need the plates, which then that's where you run into like the expense and the cost because the plates tend to get real expensive. And so you're looking at, you know, depending on the color and the rarity of it, it can be a, a you know, several, you know, several dollars up to, you know, in the teens to do one 32 by 32 base plate. Um, so just be aware if you want to do that, it gets really expensive. So, but again, the result, you can't, you can't beat it. It's really cool. Um, the other thing is this area, this whole beach area is completely modular. So everything is on either 32 by 32 base plates or 16 by 32s, except for this little strip over here where the lighthouse is. This was the odd man out, so I had to actually cut my base plates to fit this area. But even these are modular strips all along here, all the way to the back wall. So everything's completely modular into like some variation of a 32 or 16, or in this case, I think these are like eight wide by 32. Um, the, the nice thing is so I can easily pick this up, take it, if I wanted to take it and display it at a show, I could. Um, highly encourage, or if you need to move, or if you're like me and you rebuild everything all the time, highly encourage you guys to make it modular, whatever it is you do. Even my mountains are modular, so each of these is broken up into a section. Um, so there's three sections to the mountain here. And so again, it's just super easy for you to move things around. Uh, and it's easy to rearrange stuff. And if you don't like one little thing, like when I saw so this, the other thing I was going to talk about, which I'll get to in a minute, but when you like redesign, so based on your guys' feedback for this area, I redesigned it a bit and I um, created, you can see, so I made the stairs go straight to the beach, which was the first suggestion that I'd gotten. And then I redesigned the waterfall because what I did is I made that, this was initially like green plates, just on the, just flat on the ground. I redid that so that now they're actually mills plates. And so that this is at beach level, the stairs are actually at beach level. So I had to redesign the top a little bit, but it's fine because it looks really good. And then I was able to redesign the waterfall and the waterfall area you can see here is the same like sloping uh, textured technique, which really makes it pop. Because otherwise, again, you run into the same problem where your water is higher, which actually you can kind of see. So if you look up here at the park real quick, you can see that the park is not like my, it's not a mills plate. It's just tiles right on top of the base plate. And that's like the ground level. Well, what I had to do was kind of trick it. And so I had to build up the foundation, like the river bank or the creek bank there. And the same thing with the lake with plates. And it ended up kind of being like a quasi mills kind of thing, but you need to, otherwise the waters would like go all over the place and it just wouldn't look good in my opinion. So again, the advantages of the mills plate really awesome stuff really awesome technique whoever came up with that should get like a gold star because that's really cool anyway back to the beach here now the other thing is so you guys had a couple of you suge suggested that i put a cave in here and i was like oh yeah that's a good idea so that's what you see right there is a cave i still got to put detail in the cave and i didn't know who you should think i should put in the cave i've had a few suggestions of wampa golem i have a wampa at my other cave already um maybe like pirates with some buried treasure but i have a pirate already over here stealing a treasure chest, but I could I could move him, I guess. Um, I don't know if you have any other ideas. And then 
I'm still building in this area right here, but you can see that the creek is continuing. So now you're gonna have the whole effect. You're gonna have the lake, which goes to the creek by the park, down the waterfall to like another smaller lake that then continues on along here and it's gonna dump off at the end of the board. And you can see where I'm still kind of building things up here. And this is what I'm show this is what I'm talking about exactly. Is you'll see, so in this case, because this is a green plate, I have to put a blue plate underneath it and then I have a blue tile on top for the water. So right away, just one green plate, you're not at, you're lower than the water, so in your, your water would spill out. What I did further along here, if you look, is so I'm actually I'm building it up so that it's actually the same height or higher than the water tiles because then it's everything's nice and contained. And so you can kind of see that in here and see how that effect turned out, which I'm pretty happy with. I gotta say it's pretty cool. Um, the other things that I just want to note, so the backdrop, so this all along here, again, same idea, it's, it's rocks that are modular. So each of these sections comes out and comes apart. Um, and you can, you can actually interchange them if you wanted to, but they go all along the wall here. And so that kind of finishes off this whole area and it makes it look really, um, really good in my opinion. It really, it really is a nice finish for the backdrop. I still need to figure out what to put on the top, which you guys have given me some great suggestions on. So thank you again for that. And then the other thing I'm just going to quickly point out is with this also. So I have little nooks back there. You can see there's a power brick there because eventually I'm going to power up and light up this um, fishing store. I might put some lights on the docks, um, you know, lights by the stairwell, that type of stuff. So with these mills base plates, it's super easy to run wires anywhere you need because I've left channels underneath here. So you can route the wires. They route out the back here right into the power hub and then they can literally pop up. You know, you don't have to, I use, these are 16 by 16 plates, but you can actually put smaller plates and just have a, you know, modify it so you have just a pop up and you can have whatever you need for power right where you need it with no wires. So it makes it super easy to hide your wires. So there's like just advantages all over the place. And you can see how it just snaps in and it's just totally seamless. Like you can't even tell that it's modular. Um, so uh, a few other things that I just want to mention is um, just some of the detail and stuff. The pier, that's a big one. So the pier, because I wanted the fishing store to be near, near the water or kind of in the water, but I didn't want it too close to the water because you know again it was just like where's the best place to put this thing and it's kind of a big set so what i ended up doing is i just extended the pier into the water because then you have the full effect of the whole thing and you know and this can be like you know maybe the tide comes in and, and comes up along here uh, or maybe the you know things have changed in the climate so now the, the tide doesn't come in. So at one point the water did come all the way to here but now it doesn't um the end result though i think is pretty cool this was tricky to build because the pier um, is on the slope. So actually the legs here are, you know, they're varied as they go down. So they start off at the same level as these posts, you know, behind uh, back here, at least they are kind of the same level. And then as you go, they kind of get longer and longer. So I really had to like math this out and figure it out the best way to do it. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the effect. And then of course the water technique underneath, I just use simple cheese wedges that are um, dark, trans blue and um, uh, trans clear. And it just gives you a nice little like waves breaking against the post kind of effect, which I'm really happy with how that turned out. And it's just all kind of rough and choppy water as you'd see underneath a pier in real life. Um, so that's kind of where that ended up and that solved the problem of the fishing store kind of needs to be like in the water or near the water was just adding a longer pier. And it just kind of follows the same construction technique as, you know, as the, the pier back there. I just kind of followed that technique and just built it out. Um, the other thing, you know, again, with like the lighthouse, this is where you, I transition sand into rock because you'd have like a rocky outcropping for the lighthouse. Same idea, you know, there's little cheese wedges for the water breaking against the rocks. Um, and then if you look here, you can get a little closer in-depth look, you know, and then it just kind of splat, it just kind of, gosh, <laughs> I almost took out the lighthouse. It, it just kind of merges into like where the rock and the sand kind of blend together. Um, as far as the marina, I copied the same technique of um, the pier for the marina so that it all kind of just flows together. Um, I have not tiled it yet, 
I'm gonna say yet. Because I'm actually, I would love to tile it, but again, you're running into, I need like, you know, a ton of um, dark reddish brown and these dark tan and then these um, like flesh tan colored tiles to, you know, put the planking on all of this. Probably will at some point. I'm mad I can't not do it because now that I see how good this looks, it's like, oh, geez, I really want to do that. So um, at some point, I'll probably plank over this to finish it. And then this is also is like kind of the newest area that I've built out. So this area, I haven't decided, this is gonna be some type of a shop, whether it's the crab shack, or I might take the hidden side um, shrimp shack and put that here, or something else completely different. I don't know, if you have ideas, let me know, because I have this nice little area here to build. Maybe I can put two shops, um, or three even, maybe, I don't know. Um, and then again, it's just kind of, if you look like underneath, you can see where, so the, I have the water and I have the beach and I kind of chintz on this because you're not going to really see it, but it does build up to the mills plate, which again, kind of trickles down because I needed to build up to get the river to look right in this area. And so I kind of just built it up with some slopes and some bricks and then shortened the, pi the pilings for the, the pier, to, like the, the top of the pier, just shorten it here and then it just is going to transition if you get i haven't done any work on this area yet but it's going to be similar to how i did it over here so it's going to be very greens and some uh, tan tiles and whatnot and just kind of make it you know look you know natural instead of just like a flat boring pen surface um i think that pretty much covers what i was going to talk about but if you guys have questions comments ideas you know, let me know in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed because I appreciate those subscriptions. And make sure you, you hit the little bell so you get notifications when the videos pop up too. Because like I said, I'm going to try to do these more often. Um, I don't know what I should do next. So let me know what you think. What do you want to see? If you want to see, like I can do close up on the park. I can do like the main street, um, mountains. There's all kinds of different things that I can talk about and I can cover. So you guys just let me know. And actually the really cool thing I can point out because it's morning here is I'm able to open my window finally um, I got some new covering for it's a vinyl covering that kind of is like a shade but I'm fully able to open the window so you get some really cool shots like this where the sunlight's coming in off from behind hitting the sand and also the water so you get some really cool lighting effects in here now so I'm really really happy with how that turned out so thanks for watching and um, I will try to be back real soon with some more content for you guys, all right? Thank you guys, you're the best.